Hello, fellow engineers. This is Srinivasan, who is having more than 30 years experience in the construction industries, trying to present a small video explaining how to prepare the BBS. Refer the image which indicates how the bobbing schedule has to be prepared in an Excel format. BBS is nothing else. Identifying the location of the bar, mark of the bar, type, size, etc. This can be derived from the structural drawing. This process also called in scheduling. Suggestions to prepare the BBS. The bar should be collectively grouped such as beam, column, etc. Cutting and bending schedule to be prepared in an Excel format. The shape of the bar should be as per IS2502 or a structural drawing. The bar bending schedule should be prepared in a numerical order. As the bar mark reference helps the bar bender to identify, sort out, check the number of the bars and place it in the proper position. Bar bending schedule is always prepared by a site engineer or a quantity surveyor which always helps them in preparing the bill with the help of the bar bending schedule. Site engineer uses bar bending schedule for checking the reinforcement at the how to prepare a BBS preparing a BBS based on bar number bar shape diameter spacing length cutting length number of a bars etc etc all this information can be derived from the structural drawing refer the attached image which will explain you how to incorporate schedule. How to calculate the number of stirrups. Let us assume a beam is having a 6 meter long and 150 meter, millimeter center to center. How to find out the number of bars for which the formula of n plus 1 is being used. In our case, it should be 6000 divided by 150 plus 1 is equal to 41. Cutting length. Steel is ductile and subject to elongation. Hence, the length of the bar increases when bends or hooks are increased. To accommodate this, certain deductions are needed to offset the increase in length. Cutting length is nothing else. True length of a bar minus deduction. For a 45 degree, it will be total length minus one dia of the bar into number of the bends. For 90 degree, it should be total length minus 2 dia of the bar into number of a bench. The structural drawings for placing the reinforcement shall be look like this, which indicates the beam numbers, number of a bars, where is to be located, etc. etc. Prepare a bar bending schedule. Refer the image of a beam reinforcement which is shown here. The length of the beam is 6 meter exclusive of the column. So we add column width as 230 mm, 230 mm. So the total length will be 6460. The, the bend length will be 230 mm. So it should be A will be 230, B will be 6380 6, after detecting cover. So the total length will be 6000 plus 2 into 230 that is the column sizes minus 2 into 40 that is the cover of 40 mm equal to 6380 mm. Deduction 2 into dia of the bar into number of a bends will be 2 into 20 into 2. Cutting length therefore 2 into 230 plus 6000 6, minus 2 into 20 into 2 is equal to 6380 mm. In a top bar the length will be 6000 add two column sizes which will be 460 deduct the cover of two size 40 mm so the total will be 6380 as there is no bend there is no deduction cutting length will be 6380 mm only for a stirrup let us assume a stirrup is having a width of a 230 mm height of a 375 mm so the length will be after deducting the cover will be 140 mm for a 230 mm width, 
टू एटी फाइव विल बी फॉर ए थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम लेंथ कटिंग लेंथ टू ए प्लस टू सी प्लस ट्वेंटी डाया दैट इज द हुक लेंथ इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू वन फोर्टी प्लस टू इंटू टू एटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन दैट इज द टेन डाया ऑफ द बार सो दैन लेंथ विल बी वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी एम एम नंबर ऑफ स्टेडअप्स शेल बी सिक्स थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई वन फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी वन बार होप यू एंजॉय दिस प्रेजेंटेशन लुक लाइक लाइकिंग टू रिसीव योर फीडबैक्स थैंक यू वेरी मच